Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. This time I am going over these special little VU meters that I got off of. Uh, actually, I got this from eBay. I think you can get it from Amazon also, and I'll leave a link for either. But I am doing a project where I'm creating a Pelican Bluetooth speaker. And I thought it would be cool if I could create some lighting in the speaker that went with the music. So I researched it real quick and saw these cheap, cool looking uh, LED VU meters. And what it is, is a little board that utilizes five volts. Now it has this little uh, ribbon on it that you can plug into it and it is pretty simple to wire up after that and I will tell you how to wire it but first I'm going to show you how it works and then at the end I will show you how to wire this up. Anyway, let's get started with the video. Okay, so here it is in action. Uh, I basically took the unit and I mounted it kind of like this inside there so as you can see here here's the existing or the uh, second unit I got and if you line it up with the holes that I drilled it's pretty much sitting right here underneath this plastic piece and I had to drill out two holes here in order to get to the controls because there's two buttons there's a K1 and a K2 button and these are to cycle through the different modes and colors and uh, settings for this unit. So it has, it's an RGB unit, so it has a whole bunch of different modes for it. And they look pretty good. I mean, obviously, uh, my plate could have came out a little bit better. I tried to fog it up so that the uh, actual light wouldn't be as stark and it would be more of a glow. Um, but it works pretty well for what I'm doing it for, for my little uh, Bluetooth speaker here. And this project is about, I would say 70% done. I still have to get the real Bluetooth uh, unit for it. But uh, as you can see here, this, this came out pretty well. And these are only like six or seven dollars. So it's a nice little accent lighting and it will move with the music. Now, the cleaner your amp, because when you wire this, it goes to the speakers. So the less noise you have on your amp, the better. I'm using a temporary amp because the one I ordered from China isn't here yet. So let's listen to it for a little bit and then I'll show you the modes.
So the K1 button is for selecting different colors. Now you have to hold down K1. It will put you in the mode of selecting different color combinations. Then you can hit K1 or K2 to step through those color combinations and cycle them. And then once you find one you like, you can hold down K1 again and that will select it for you. Now K2 is pretty much for brightness and it's also if you tap it will give you things like different sensitivity so if you just keep on tapping it over and over again you'll see it change the sensitivity of it but once you've accepted it you hold it down and it will take the change so you can consider them almost like menu buttons and if you hold them you go into the menu if you tap them, you're scrolling through the menu. That's as easy as I can explain it. And uh, it's got so many different combinations throughout this little unit. I mean, for six or seven dollars, um, you got a myriad of colors, pretty much most of the ones in the gamut. And, uh, you know, the only thing I don't like about it is, is that it doesn't make a beeping noise to tell you what mode you're in. That would have been maybe one thing I would have changed. But it's pretty good for a little Chinese VU meter. If you guys have any ideas on uh, other projects that you'd like me to work on uh, utilizing this VU meter, I'd be more than happy to take on that challenge. So leave a comment in the video and I will definitely give it a shot. Anyway, let's move on to the second part of the video, which is explaining how it's wired and what you can use it for. I wish that they had a little bit better instructions. When this thing came to me, it had zero instructions. The only reason I figured out how to wire it is if you look really close right here, you can see that there's lettering here. It has a positive, a negative, a G, an L, and an R. And so I assumed that the positive and negative were the five volts. And I, f I figured out what it was five volts, luckily, before I put voltage on it, because I think 12 volts will probably pop this thing. And then the G I thought was ground, so I put that to the ground of the speakers. And then the left and the right, obviously, were the positive on the left and the right, is what I figured. What ended up happening was is every time I hooked up G, I heard a loud snap and it sounded terrible. So I had to leave G off. So when I wired this, I left the G wire, which is the middle wire. And whether these things are color coded the same or not, it doesn't really matter because if you look at the positioning of your strip, you'll know that from left to right, in this case, black is positive, white is negative. Um, and then you have gray, which is your ground or G, which you don't even hook up. And then you have, uh, well, at least I don't think you hook it up. It seems to work without it. Maybe you're supposed to put it to an earth ground. I don't know if anybody knows out there, I'd appreciate a, a comment. Uh, and then of course you got your purple and your blue, which are your left and your right. Um, but it seems to work. It works good enough for me. Anyway guys, that was my video. I hope you found it informational. I definitely recommend these units for six or seven dollars. They're a great DIY for doing Bluetooth speakers or even doing a little arcade setup where you can uh, have the RGBs going off to the music or something. But uh, I'm gonna definitely leave links in the description for Amazon and eBay uh, so you guys can pick one of these up. Six or seven dollars, great for a little project little DIY. So the one on eBay looks exactly like the one I got and does all those same trippy colors and it has a schematic but if you can read it more power to you and uh, there you go that one is exactly like the one I got and as you can see it's only five dollars uh, but then it's got two dollars of shipping so expect to pay about eight bucks Anyway, that's my video. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna get the tag out of here. Later.